Stick around if you want to have some fun. The Wood Shop is sponsored by Shopware Kits and Easy Wood Tools. Awesome. Baby! Yeah. This is awesome! There we go. I was just gonna make a paperweight out of it, but I started cutting into it and it was just too cool. So I'm gonna make a gear shift out of it and I'll turn a wooden base down here for it. But yeah, just awesome stuff. I've turned a little bit of aluminum before, but just solid pieces and it turns turns well. I just turns it, um, it actually comes off there in you know, little ribbons, just like if you were drilling it on the drill press. But I started out with the bowl gouge and it popped a couple of the, the little rivets out. And it be, I think because it's getting the epoxy hot, the little shavings coming off were burning my hand. So I think that's what was going on. So I switched to the carbide cutter and it works very well. Just takes off just a little bit and I didn't have any, any pop out using, using that. And they shaped it just fine. So the aluminum, if you're gonna, gonna turn it, it, it won't hurt your tools, but it dulls them really fast. So it's not gonna take a chip or anything out of it, but it, it will, you'll be back and forth to the grinder quite a bit. All right, that was uh, about it on it. A lot of, lot of fun, I'm gonna do some more of that. The art piece I did last week, and this, I had uh, just one real issue was the transition here, so. I think maybe on the next one, I won't have them overlap like this. I'll maybe do, maybe have, have some out here and maybe a little one in the middle or something. And I had a great, oh, somebody suggested maybe because of the transition was to make make your first first cut here, epoxy that all in, and then put it back on the lathe and make this cut. And it would cut across the, the little tabs here. And that would work too, but just make sure that those those things are epoxied in good or it'll it'll pop them out. And I did have Ron and, and somebody else mentioned to making a wall clock out of this. And 
they had a great suggestion, uh, both of them said, to put the clock in the center and then use the aluminum tabs for 12, 3, 6, and 9, and then the little copper ones I have for the minute hand. So I think that would look cool. They great have the three different materials contrast, and I think that looked nice. All right. I, uh, oh, I wanted to share some pictures. Dan, he did a couple of baby rattles. Nice job. And he did this wine glass. Very nice. And he's working on the other one. And there's a couple, oh, Jason, he sent me a video. So I will put a link to his channel down below. And he turned a spoon and he made his own jam chuck. Nice job, Jason. And this week I want to uh, share another fellow YouTube woodworker, Ted Alexander. He just, he does a great job. Lots of great project videos. Last week he turned a couple of mallets as, for gifts for another uh, YouTube woodworker. So nice job, Ted. So go check out his channel and subscribe. He's got a lot of great stuff up there. All right. Uh, if this is your first time here, I do a new project video every Friday. I hope to see you there. Take care.